Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Logically Thinking. I know I've kind of been slacking on these lately and I wanted to make sure I at least did one this weekend. So not a lot of stuff to cover on this one, just kind of some pickups and some other things. I'm really excited about releases for next week, or I should say this week, because I'm shooting this on a Sunday. Uh, this Tuesday, WWE 13 and Assassin's Creed 3 is out. I'm a huge wrestling fan, uh, obviously, so I'm really excited about WWE 13. Looks like there's a lot of options that they expanded on from 12, so really looking forward to that. And Assassin's Creed 3, a uh, major blockbuster, you could say. They're finally moving it to a different era. Now we're running around North America, which I think is pretty awesome. New scope, new land, and everything. So hopefully it uh, kind of renews my faith in the Assassin's Creed series. Uh, not to say they don't like the games. 2 was by far my favorite in the series. Then they did the sequel to that. And uh, then they did another sequel after that. And I thought the sequel after Assassin's Creed 2 was decent. Uh, but the few games that came out after that, they, they just kind of dragged on a little bit. So I didn't finish the last one that came out. Uh, my little brother's a huge Assassin's Creed fan. He finished it right away. For whatever reason, I just could not get into it. Picked it up, played it for a couple hours, and just kind of put it down. And it's sitting on the shelf downstairs waiting to be played someday. So I'm hoping with Assassin's Creed 3 that Ubisoft... Uh, renewed the Assassin's Creed series like they did from the first one to the second one. I remember really enjoying the first one when it came out and think, you know, knowing how groundbreaking it was and everything and enjoying the fact that there was so much to do even though at the same time there wasn't. Uh, you repeated a lot of stuff in the Assassin's Creed games, the first one anyway. And then 2 came out and they refined everything. They took everything that was great about the first Assassin's Creed and just amped it up and took out took out all the crap that basically was boring. Uh, so hopefully they do that with Assassin's Creed 3. I, I hope the game does well and I'm really excited for it. And like I said before, really excited for WWE 13. Of course the week after that is Halo 4. And uh, as a huge, or I should say used to be a huge Halo fan, I'm slowly getting more and more interested in this, especially with the online campaign mode that they have introducing new episodes le uh, weekly. Seems kind of interesting to me. And uh, that's only a couple weeks away, so that is exciting. And that kind of leads into, really quick, if you haven't watched it yet, uh, I was actually doing grocery shopping and uh, went by the toy aisle and I saw that end cap here. They had this uh, Halo 4 Cryopod that has a Master Chief in it. So I did a quick review of this. I think this is pretty cool. I haven't bought a Halo-related figure in years. Uh, probably not since the first couple lines of Halo 3 McFarlane, just because... They kind of lost originality after a while, but it seems that they're making some cool playset things, and I thought this would look cool at my desk at work, so I'll be taking that over there. And uh, they also had a uh, ODST drop pod, which I thought was pretty cool, and that thing was huge. It was like 34 bucks, and I didn't want to spend the money on that. This was actually on sale, so that was one of the reasons I picked it up. But uh, if you haven't checked out that review, check that out. There'll be other stuff coming as well. So This week, I uh, got a couple pickups. The first being uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter. This is the limited edition of it. I'll talk a little bit more into detail about this game later. I uh, tried the multiplayer. I finished the single player a couple days ago. I just can't get into it. And, and seriously, I, I think this game maybe has killed it for me for military shooters. I wasn't going to buy Call of Duty Black Ops, the second one. And I uh, decided, you know, maybe I'll put it on the Christmas list because I'll eventually want to play it. So I put it on my Christmas list. And after playing this, I don't know, I'm just so so tired of doing the military shooter thing that uh, I think I may take it off my Christmas list and maybe pick it up when it goes cheap. You know how they cycle through the Call of Duty games, basically. It's the first-person shooter of Madden games, as I always say. So I'll talk a little bit more about Medal of Honor, but not great. Uh, GameStop had some sales this weekend. They actually started Wednesday and ended today. And uh, I grabbed a couple different games. The first being Dark Souls, which was $19.99. I actually picked up a used copy for uh, $17.99 with my discount card. It's you know, whatever. Uh, I hate Demon Souls. I love it and I hate it just because it was so difficult. And I didn't play it enough. Uh, just because I got my ass kicked all the time. I hear Dark Souls is a little easier, so I'm kind of looking forward to when I have some time to check out this game and play it and uh, see how long I can last before I get broken down. Next up, 
I almost bought this for 60 bucks when it first came out, and I'm glad I didn't. It kind of got mixed reviews, but it's just one of those like campy Evil Dead type things that you gotta own, and that is Lollipop Chainsaw. And this was uh, on sale new for $19.99. They had a used copy. The used copy was going for $31. I guess GameStop never updated their SKU for it. Uh, this is a, I believe it's Suda 51 game, and. Uh, his games are always crazy, so uh, this is another one I'm kind of looking forward to popping in, maybe over Christmas, and checking out. Next up is Batman Arkham Asylum. I have Arkham City. I've played a little bit of it. thought it was great. A lot of people tell me that Arkham Asylum is probably one of the best Batman games of all time, so I am looking forward to playing both of them. And I figured 14 bucks for the Game of the Year edition isn't bad. Why not? Let's try it out. Finally, the biggest pickup I got by far, and I've been waiting for this for a while, is the very limited, I guess it's only a uh, thousand copies, and this is uh, the Sky, uh, the art of Final Fantasy, basically. It has three different volumes of Final Fantasy artwork, as well as some limited artwork, and uh, this is by, I'm going to probably butcher the artist's name, uh, Yoshitaka Amano fantastic artwork throughout the entire Final Fantasy series and this covers I think I believe it's one through nine maybe a couple games after that but the most interesting thing to me is the artwork from uh, seven and eight because his concept artwork looks so different from obviously what the final product was in the Final Fantasy games and uh, they just look cool I'm, I'm looking forward to doing a full review of this this is a excellent box set if you can get your hands on this, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, you should definitely pick it up. Well worth it. Uh, looking through some of the stuff through Final Fantasy 3, 3 here in America, 6 in Japan. Uh, I saw a lot of that artwork back when it was released in Nintendo Power and stuff in the manual. I thought it was really unique looking. Now to see it in all its glory and a lot of stuff that I never saw before, it's just really great. What a talented character artist. Just lovely strokes through all the work so I'm going to be doing a full review of this box set eventually so look forward to that for sure other than that um, I guess I don't have too much more uh, Matt actually uh, told me that he wants to do another Gamer Logic live soon and I'm looking forward to that I really enjoyed doing the last one and uh, still working on the arcade video I told you guys that for a while that I've been wanting to do a arcade overview a tour of the basement arcade and I've got all the video done it's just a matter of sitting down and editing and kind of talking over things rather than just kind of going through things on the fly as I'm looking at the machines I actually just recorded straight video so I can kind of do a proper voiceover for some of the machines talk about some of my memories of mom and how I got them and stuff like that so that's all for now guys uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll look forward to hopefully another logically thinking next week no promises of course but we'll see have a good one, guys. Peace.